dual finish. This is from Estee Lauder. That is a lie. Hi guys, it's Asia Nakia from Under the Scope and I'm back with another video. to show you guys my simple and everyday type of makeup look. This is something that you could wear to work. Um, this is something that you could just wear out when you're going grocery shopping. Something very simple, something that's that not gonna take a lot of time because in the mornings I don't have a lot of time when I'm going to work or when I'm going out in general, I just don't feel like putting on a whole bunch of makeup. So if you're like that sometimes, you just don't feel like putting on a full face, then this is definitely the routine for you. So stay tuned to see this routine. First off, excuse the hair because it has been just freaking growing like weeds and it's just, I'm gonna rinse it today, like wash and do a, an apple cider vinegar rinse and just try to get this thing tamed because it, I'm just in like full unapologetic fro right now, which I love. It's just, it's just everywhere and I gotta, I gotta do something to just, it looks a little dry. So I gotta remedy that after this video. The first thing I like to apply is my Laura Mercier Blemishless Foundation Primer. Once I have all of that blended in and all into the skin, I let it sit for a little bit and then I add my secret concealer. This is also Laura Mercier. And I think I've shown these in like a haul video. If you want to go back and watch that video, you'll see where I pick these up. And this is how that looks. So I just put this all over where any blemishes are, which is everywhere basically. put all that on. I'm going to also put on my La Mercier Flawless Skin Repair Eye Serum and you can put this on before or after um, like your makeup or foundation or whatever and I've also shown this before. So when I'm doing everyday sort of looks or just on the go I don't tend to use liquid foundations. I tend to just use powders and I'm going to be using my tried and true, my trusty dusty dual finish. This is from Estee Lauder. That is a lie. This is from Lancome and um, this is dual finish from Lancome. And as you can see, I must like it because girl, would I have on it? Oh my god. It's completely gone. So I'm just going to take some swirl around in here. I like this because it isn't particularly heavy on the skin, while I do think it gives a good amount of coverage. So that's something I always like. So after that, I like to go in with this Milani face powder, and this is advertised as a multitasker so it's a multitasker face powder that is good for setting finishing and blotting it says a multi-purpose face powder light to medium coverage gives you a natural matte finish without caking absorbs excess oil and reduces shine so i'm just going to put this over what i just did just to set it in place Like it says, you don't, it's just like light to medium coverage. You don't want too much caked on. Next, I like to do my under eye concealer. And of course, it's going to be this light, lighter one right here. Going in under the eye. I 
Oh, and I don't think I, uh, this is the La Mercier um, Secret Camouflage. And I've also shown this in a haul recently. You can go back and see that video. See, that definitely brightens up the eye, makes us look like we're not so tired, which is what I need in the mornings when I'm on my way to work. So now I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'm going to be using my Too Faced uh, Deep Tan Bronzer and this is the Dark Chocolate Solio, whatever it says. The great thing about this is, is that it actually really does smell like chocolate. So that is a nice pick-me-up in the mornings for when you're getting ready to go out. Who doesn't love the smell of chocolate? Ooh. Don't blend it. And for the finishing touches on the face, I'm going to add Gold Deposit. And this is a mineralized skin finish. There's something on my lid. And this is really good for highlighting. This is how that looks. I love it. So gorgeous. So cute. Now I'm going to add just a little lip color to go with it and I have this Burt's Bees Scarlet Soaked. And I think I got this in like a gift basket or something. So this is how that looks. actually show you a swatch of it. That's how that looks. Very cute. It's very moisturizing just like Burt's Bees um, lip balms. It feels really good. And then lastly, I'm just going to add my MAC Prep and Prime. So that is it for my everyday foundation routine, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and comment. Anything you liked about this video, tell me about your everyday look. What do you incorporate into your look? And go ahead and share this video with your friends so they can be looking fly too every day. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye!